where are you finding these, man? I mean, these are some seriously, seriously obscure stuff. Like, yeah, without like, giving all your secrets away, like you kind of find one and it leads into another. Lots of it's like contacting people that were in the movies and things. Uh, so like, all right, so you go straight to the source. Tapeheads, a nostalgic breed of video hoarders. I'm on a quest to find some of the biggest physical media collections in the world. To find those long lost films that have only survived on the VHS format. So join me and my crew as we take a look at some of the most insane collections. Dust off those VCRs, it's playback time. Here to check out your collection. Awesome, yeah, come on. Yeah. Cool. Awesome, man. Brett was saying that you've got some pretty serious gems that he's after. Yeah, I, I definitely like specifically try to go after things that are difficult to find. I collected VHS a bit growing up, but not overly. Like I'd buy like previously viewed movies at Jumbo Video or whatever. When I started like buying tapes it was because dvds were out and tapes were just cheap yeah like I, i'd buy boxes of tapes and it would be less than a hundred dollars yeah, like, yeah, yeah. this is a good one uh alien beasts it's like a um, backyard movie basically the, the majority of it i don't think even has a camera person it's just kind of someone hitting record on a camera on a tripod and then everyone runs and then it everyone runs it yeah, yeah yeah so that that's pretty good he actually i got uh so if you mail him he'll send you like postcards and like Polaroids and things like that. That that director? Yeah, I mean. so right, that, that's cool. him. He sent this photo. Yeah. And then I pulled this one out. I, I saw the back first. It said Carl's mother on it. I was like, oh, okay, that's bizarre. Yeah. And I turned it over and I think she might be deceased in the photo. Dude, she looks deceased in the yeah. photo. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, what so do you I, mean? So I think I have a photo of Carl's deceased <laughs> mother like on a couch. What? Yeah, maybe she's just sleeping and she sleeps with her mouth open. Well, yeah, look. Um, you may see it. <laughs> she doesn't look too well. Yeah. yeah. So that's bizarre. I feel kind of weird having that. He sent that to you? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Mutant Massacre. This is another Carl with his dead mother, Sakenic. Uh, yep. It's basically just alien beasts edited in a different... Oh, uh, right, yeah. I bought them both at the same time, and I watched Alien Beasts, and it was fairly challenging. <laughs> but I finished it, paid attention, like I wasn't distracted, yeah, 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 I wasn't yeah. like, paid attention the whole way through, and then I put on Mutant Massacre, yeah. and it's just the same movie in a different order. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, it killed me. This is from the director of Video Violence. Oh wow, is it? Cool, yeah. awesome. Camp Video bought it and released it as Captives, and it's far more watchable as Captives. You can actually hear the audio and things. In, in this, in, <laughs> it's, it's, more more of, it's more of a movie. Yeah. In, in this version, which everyone's after, the music is just cranked in it. It's really hard to tell what people uh, are saying. Yeah, right. and, yeah, the mix is just poor. Yeah, right. Signed by the director, though. Do you have Video Violence? Because I haven't seen that yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't want it. Well, I got, like, the big box of it. Oh, cool. Wow. See, all of these, we don't have any of these, you know? We don't even have these movies. Right. So when I'm seeing, like, I've seen like, these on all the groups and Facebook and all that stuff for years and years and years, you know, now I'm actually finally seeing these things in the flesh. It's yeah. cool. Well, I remember when I was in Australia, there were still VHS rentals around. It was, yep. it was like, I don't know, like 15 years ago. Okay, yeah. yeah. And uh, I remember going and renting Brain Dead yeah. and taking it back and watching it and being like, holy shit, there's like 
15 minutes of this movie I've never seen before. Right. Yeah, so that was... Interesting. That was so exciting. that you had it cut here. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize there was like... Wow. It was pretty severely cut. I don't know what the exact time was, but... That's a fucking gory movie, man. Yeah, for sure. Can I have a look at The Brain, please? The Brain, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have not seen this in the flesh either. Oh, I guess you're used to seeing old pal stuff, right? So old pal stuff, we don't have this. Right. This, this does not exist in my country. So this is, I believe, the only movie that has a drinking game built into the plot. All right. So cool. they, they give you the rules right at the beginning. And it's kind of a possession movie, I guess. And it okay. takes place in a pornography warehouse that ships out pornography tapes. Different people are getting possessed and attacking each other. And it goes through and there's different rules throughout where you have to take a drink whenever certain things happen. I was pretty happy when I found this. One that lots of people have been kind of looking for, The Recordist. So this was made by a music studio in Seattle. It's kind of like a sci-fi-ish chase film, I guess. He's in the woods camping at night and he kind of inadvertently records extraterrestrial life. John Good is a recording engineer. John likes to record the sounds of nature in his spare time. But something lurks in the forest, something unimaginable. And John has a tape recording of it. The Recordist, starring John Good and Myron Parker. So where are you finding these, man? I mean, these are some seriously, seriously obscure stuff, like... Yeah, without like, giving all your secrets away like you kind of find one and it leads into another and lots of it's like contacting people that were in the movies and things uh, or like all right so you go straight to the source yeah i found a few um vhs suppliers that were kind of out of business for a few years that i harassed for yep. boxes in their basement and stuff nice. this one's good jabber yeah the the actual title of it is la aids jabber yeah he runs around like stabbing people and giving them aids yeah, yeah. So it, it's it really kind of capitalized on the whole AIDS scare, which was yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, pretty ballsy to come out with. It is in 1994. I like the statement capitalized on the AIDS yeah. <laughs> But you know, everyone everyone was freaking out. This one took forever to find. Marley's Revenge. It's like a swamp monster movie, I guess. Cool. And the filmmaker created like this big. Uh, no, he's actually on the back of the box. This big uh, skeleton monster out of like... Oh, yes, yeah, sick. I, I think out of like old bits of a dock or something. I'm afraid the battery's dead. That's okay. If we box, we got power. Look it up and let's get out of here. <laughs> Night of Terror. Oh, I thought that looks awesome. I think I contacted... Almost everyone's still alive who had something to do with that movie. Like, it got to the point where I was contacting the guy that, like, did the score for it and stuff. And just no one had a copy. Wow. And lots of the people that worked on it actually responded aggressive or negatively towards it. Like, I, I think lots of, lots of these movies, well, people I, are kind of, like, either ashamed that they worked on or... Yeah, most likely. Yeah. yeah. Which is bizarre. Um, to me, anyway. This movie everyone hates, and it's one of my favorite movies of all time, Doctor Strain, The Body Snatcher. Why is it one of your favorites of all time? It doesn't feel like it was like made to be sold. It feels like it was made because the guys wanted to make a movie, kind of, if that makes sense. <laughs> Lots of these low-budget ones, you can tell, like, oh, they're just making this to sell it. This one feels the exact opposite of that. It feels like it was made, and they knew there was no way they could sell it ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow they did. Yeah, there, there's a lot of tapes just kind of buying them for, like, you know, two dollars or four dollars or five dollars and suddenly they're sixty or eighty dollars and it happened really quick well i feel like when vinyl had its like resurgence and everyone's like selling theirs and buying them up and then new stuff is being put on vinyl because they wanted to make money out of it so people are saying that oh this could be a collector's item there's like novelty to it it's just kind of intimidating i guess to try to buy something on ebay now it is isn't it yeah oh this one I don't know if you've seen this in your travels. Uh, neighborhoods? No. It's also called uh, Devil Snow, and it's got a different cover as Devil Snow. It's about a young woman who gets hooked on uh, smoking crack, 
and Perfect. just magical twist is that when she smokes crack, her face turns green and she has big teeth and she stabs people with a knife. <laughs> There's some kind of weird stuff up here. Attack of the base creatures? Oh, that, that's a classic. A ship sinks and the escape raft lands on this small island and it turns out the island is inhabited by no well, there's no photos of them just these little uh tiki doll yeah and... i have to ask what out of all these movies which was the hardest one to get Mm. You just had the most of a time trying um, to acquire it. Probably The Recordist or um, Night of Terror. Both of those took four years, five Gosh. years. Is that all? <laughs> Man, I've had tapes that I've like, only just gotten. I've been looking for them since I was a child. <laughs> but, but when I say like four or five years, I mean four or five years of me. Constant, solid life. Yeah, of like research. effort. Yeah. Well, of like knowing where a copy is and like, I don't want to use the word harass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use the word harass. It's just like a constant kind of, like I'm polite, but hey, are you ready to move that on yet? Yeah, yeah. Ready to part with that yet? Right. And just kind of, yeah, you know, a, a, an email every three months or something for four years is... Uh, you were just politely determined. Yeah. Anything else you wanted to show? Yeah, I'll show you some stuff. Uh, I'll show you some stuff downstairs. Here. Okay, cool. I, I found someone who had kind of a stack of these. So are these Nigerian films? Yeah, I'm trying to get as many as I can lately because they're, despite I'm sure them being just mass produced, they're very difficult to find over here. What made you seek these out? Just kind of under the umbrella of weird stuff that's hard to find. They're all very low budget. Lots of them seem to be kind of financed by like churches. Jeez, you must have a ball watching this stuff, man. What are you doing in my house? I have come as I promised. And you need to go unpunished. No! <laughs> yeah, so I've watched three of them so far. Like, they're fun. They'd be much funner with a group of people. Shake your hand. And yeah, totally. Thank you very much for... Yeah, thanks for coming. Awesome, man. All right, we're going into a value village to find some tapes. It's Kate. It's Rob. Let's see if we have better luck than the last one we went to. This is usually a better one. Yep. The one we went to before was, I barely find any tapes here. I found some good ones here. Yeah. Oh, what? Cool, man. Nice. That's a cool cover, too. Yeah, it is. Huh. It's original release, I can't even tell. Films 83, package design 87, so this is probably first or second print. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one. Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you find like like old uh, He-Man and Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. Um, not today. What do we got? Stephen King and a Stephen King. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's I love that Cujo. I reckon that cover's awesome. Yeah, that works awesome. cool. I haven't I'm seen pretty, it before. Pretty sure I already have this. Well, you can give it to me. But now it's a cool then. trade. Or yeah. it's yours. I'll <laughs> <laughs> we'll give him my book. <laughs> Coming up next on Video Hoarders. I ended up being found after the fire was put out. Whoa. So I ended up in a coma for 14 days. What are some of the ones that, that made it out of the... Definitely my Twilight Zone. Kurt Russell is just a man, really. Oh, he's so sexy. Get inside me, Kurt Russell. <laughs> <laughs>